According to SOLAS Convention requirements, every A station must be inspected annually and after MMSI encoding. In this video, we show you how to provide tests within the annual testing of A station class A. The volume and order of the tests are described in IMO Circular 1252 and accordingly, during the annual test, a surveyor has to check. Installation details including antenna layout, correct programming of the ship's static information, the ability of the AEs to receive ship's dynamic and static information, the ability to correctly input the ship's voyage-related data, frequency and power level, and finally make an on-air test. Most of these tasks can be performed only by means of special equipment. We will check this AIS station, Samyung SI-30, with the help of new multifunctional tester MRTS-7M. To start measurements, we should connect MRTS-7M to A station by means of power sensor. To do so, disconnect the vessel's antenna cable from A station and connect it to the power sensor outlet. Connect the power sensor to the A station with such cable from the set. Then connect these cables from power sensor meter to the tester. Also, it is possible to connect a near interface to the tester by this cable, which is optionally supplied. A near interface shall confirm that this station receives the signal. And only when all the connections are done, turn on the station and the tester. Then we should set up the test configuration. As we provide measurements by power sensor meter, we go to main menu, scroll to settings, go to test configuration, VHF configuration, and select test by power sense. Then escape. The configuration will be saved automatically. In volume of annual survey, you have to provide the following tests. Measure frequencies on AS channel 1 and 2, GMDSS channel 70. Measure the transmitting output on AS channel 1 and 2, GMDSS channel 70. Poll information on channel 70. Read data from AS on A and B channels. Send data to AS on A and B channels. Check A's response to virtual vessels and finally make an on-air test. If the inspector has a standard tester, he has to provide all the measurements one by one, switching manually a tester to the proper modes, reconnecting the cables and adjusting the device. Fortunately, GMDSS tester MRTS-7M has automatic test mode, which will do the entire job for us. So enter the main menu, select Test A's, A's Class A, and select the Auto Test mode. Input MMSI number of the A station. And press Enter. While the tester is working for us, we will take a cup of coffee and I will tell you what is it doing right now. Initially, MRTS-7M waits and receives any message from the A station and then sends the request for message 5 to avoid waiting it for 5 minutes scheduled emission. Then the tester receives uh, any messages on channel A and B, measures frequency, power level and frequency deviation in both channels sends request and receives the message 1 and message 2, uh, measures uh, VSVR of antenna. We see on the screen of the tester he letters A, then B, then 1, then U and 5, to confirm this job is done. Further, the tester sends the virtual ship message. We should see the confirmation of virtual ship reception on LCD of A station. Switch to plot screen. Here it is. Finally, tester sends the request on DSC channel 70. If the station answered, we will see the confirmation on the tester screen. This is it. Now we see short results of the performed test. Press F2 to save the results. Remember the profile number. It's saved. 
One of the tasks was to check DSC channel 70, pull the information on this channel and measure the frequencies. It was done in automatic mode, but using the MRTS 7M we can also provide tests manually. We will show you how to do it. Let's, let's select the test ACE class A, pull in DSC menu and press start. Now we see that CRC is OK, frequency and power level are measured. Finally, let's make the on-air test. We need to disconnect the cables and we don't need power sensor. We connect vessel's antenna to station, turn it on and turn on the tester. It is necessary to set up proper test configuration. We go to main menu, then settings, test configuration, VHF configuration and select antenna. Now let's receive some message from ACE. Enter ACE, class A, auto test mode, input MMSI number if necessary and press enter. The tester is providing measurements. We can confirm that the on-air test has passed successfully. We think we have all data required to create test report to confirm that a station passed the annual test. To make test report, we run the software. For the latest version of operation systems, no drivers are required. Windows, OS X and Linux are compatible. Connect the Martes 7M by means of USB to a laptop. Turn on the tester and run the software. In program window, we go to download data menu and press download data button. The results are now downloaded. Go to test results and select the needed profile. Then press details. We see the measurement results. Message 1, message 5, We can input details of the A station. Ship details. Place of sewing. And press save. Finally, we select the needed type of test report. For example, it's general test report and IMO test report. It is possible to save it in doc or PDF format or simply print right now. Press print and if your computer is connected to a printer like mine, you have the test report ready. Here is the test report generated by test tool. If you save the report in doc format, you can insert your logo on the document and it put any details you wish, for example, your company's details, sign and stamp. That's it. We hope this video manual will be useful for you. Thank you for your attention.